Hey guys, this is Adam Lane with PocketNow.com. We're looking at the Samsung Keys or Kai's software. Uh, this installs on your desktop for Windows. And it lets you connect to your Android Samsung Vibrant or Captivate Galaxy S phones. You can see over here I have mine connected. One thing you have to note is that on your phone you have to set the USB connection settings to the Samsung Keys mode or else it won't work. So after you do that and uh, you launch this program it should show up here and you see you have your mouse over and you got some menus over here and you can see your external memory. So if I click on that it's going to bring up a file manager. We can uh, browse through what's on there. Just uh, pretty easy. And you can also click on the phone to get your internal memory. So you can see how much space is available over there. And when we mouse over you can see your contacts, you can save them to your PC or set up Outlook Sync. Same with your calendar, Outlook Sync, save to PC. Multimedia, this will let you copy everything uh, music, photo, video wise off of your device onto your computer into these locations. I don't want to do that. And um, down here, while well, we have this uh, little help window that comes up at first, down here we have a bunch of other applications that launch within the Samsung software. So let's check out this one, Contents Manager. You'd think this would be like a file manager, but it turns out it's just a, a music and images and video manager uh, for your desktop with just a, uh, here it is, just a export to device button. So I'm not sure how, that, how much useful that is. Doesn't, you can't set up automatic sync, sync or anything like that. Contacts. This lets us see which contacts are saved on the phone. These are not the contacts that are synced with Gmail or Exchange or Facebook or any of that. These are just the ones that are only on the phone. And we can set up Outlook Sync there as well. And it freezes often, so I think we are frozen again. Let me restart the program. Okay, I've restarted the program and we're back here. Uh, next is the calendar. Again, this is only loading calendar events on the phone, not the ones that are synced with Exchange or whatnot. So you see I don't have anything here, but you can, you know, set up Outlook Sync and same as everything. Message Viewer I really like. This is a, a little widget program that will let you see your text messages on the phone. Let's get it loaded. And you can print them as well as archive them to your PC. So that's really nice, really useful. Uh, one of the one of the things that I love uh, from Windows Mobile is your ability to, you know, archive text messages and use them elsewhere. So it's really great that that's on the Samsung Galaxy S phones. Next is Memo. This also connects to the phone. I guess it lets you see memos. photo viewer just lets you uh, see the pictures copy them to your device nothing exciting and we got video converter this is really good because it will convert video files into a format that is appropriate for your phone you just select the uh, options up here 
and then do start conversion. You still have to copy the file manually to your phone because it's going to be saving it into this folder. A couple other things you got disk burning, disk ripping, not really related to the phone. But here's a good one tethering. So that's that's the phone. I gotta set up the connection settings. Let's find my country. There we go. And then and that populates all my settings. Do okay. And you see it there, and then I press this button. Do you want to proceed? And it is trying to connect. Let's just wait a minute. Doing its thing. Come on. Yeah, connecting to the device. Here we go. Happening. Registering. internet is connected and if I look at my network settings we can see it is connected and it is identifying let's see if it gets internet access well it worked before Okay. Anyway, theoretically, that is how it was. It would work, supposedly, but uh, not working here. And if I disconnect that button, the software might crash, and it appears to be frozen. No, oh, no. Okay, and we have an error. but everything seems to be okay. Let me just show you some settings. If I click it, if it opens, here we are. Nothing special here. You can change colors, change the background image, and choose which widgets to uh, show on the dock. And you can set up uh, your accounts for YouTube and Flickr, so if you drag pictures or videos to these icons down here, it will upload to those automatically. And there's update. So that's pretty much it. Uh, pretty buggy, but some very useful features in here. So it might be worth your time to try it. Anyway, that's the Samson Kai's software, and that's it for now.